Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of Glorious Life on Wheels, where I am going to show you how to make simple, delicious meals on a budget. Meals that you can cook no matter what kind of cooking device you have, from a simple butane burner like I have here to a fancy stove in a house. Whatever you have, you can make these dishes with. Today, I am going to be making hot water cornbread, but with a little twist. It's stuffed hot water cornbread. I call this make-do meals. We're sheltering in place, many of us, so because of that, we're using what we have on hand. So therefore, I'm calling it again, make-do meals. The ingredients I'm going to use, I'm going to use cornmeal, that is in my pantry. I'm going to use some sausage that was left over from breakfast this morning. And I'm gonna use some mashed potatoes that are from dinner last night. And I'm gonna add a little butter. In the cornmeal, well, I'll tell you about that later. Let me tell you how I came up with this idea. I lived on the East Coast for a little while. And while I was back there, there were three things I used to love. One was Philly steaks. The other was Italian hot dogs. You'd buy on the street with bell peppers and all of these things. And the third thing was potato knishes. It's kind of a Jewish dish. It's in a pastry. You will have, maybe they would have very highly seasoned potatoes, or sometimes they'd have corned beef with different vegetables, but it was really delicious. So I came up with this idea. I thought, you know, that pastry could be a little difficult to make. Why don't I do it? maybe the soul food way, and do it with hot water cornbread. So I'm gonna show you what you do with the cornmeal is you take about a cup of cornmeal and actually that and hot water is really all that you need. Self-rising would be best, but if you don't have self-rising cornmeal, you can add maybe about a tablespoon, which I added here, of baking powder but you don't have to. This is really a make-do meal. Make-do with whatever you have on hand. So, but for me, again, I added a tablespoon of baking powder. I added about two tablespoons of sugar. So you can add anywhere from one to three tablespoons of sugar, depending on your preference. I added about a teaspoon of salt, and you know how I love garlic powder. So I added garlic powder and I added onion powder. For this, you'll need about, I'd say probably about um, a cup of water, but you, you'll, boiling water. It, the boiling water is what actually cooks the cornmeal. So I'm going to put this in a dish over here. This mixture of the cornmeal, baking powder, and sugar. And I'm going to add about a cup or so, maybe a little more of boiling water. I forgot my spoon, so I'm gonna use this plastic fork and hope it doesn't melt. So I'm gonna pour my boiling water in here. I'm gonna get it just to the point where it's well mixed so that I can make little cakes out of it. I don't want it really wet, because if it's too wet, then it won't stick together. You probably could add an egg to it if you want, but, but that's not necessary. So let me get this all mixed up really well. I'm gonna add a little bit of butter to this, and the hot water will melt the butter. and I'm gonna make these into little patties, and then I'm going to stuff them, and I'll show you how I do that. All right, what I have done is I have mixed the sausage with potatoes. Really, what I would like to have in here is shredded cheese, and I forgot the shredded cheese because that really takes it up a notch. 
but I would strongly suggest if you have shredded cheese, add shredded cheese to this. So I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna make a little ball. Then I'm gonna make a, in the center of the ball, I'm gonna make a little indention, or however you want it, that's a new word, huh? New dent, then I'm gonna add, oops. I'm gonna add my stuffing. Then I'm gonna cover this up and seal it. Flatten it back out. Then my pan, the, I have about maybe a quarter of an inch or so of grease. And I'm gonna put this down here and let that fry. Then I'm gonna make my next one. That one's kind of big. I made it a little bigger than I planned to. But you wanna get your cornmeal, you see where it is, where it's kind of doughy? That's the consistency you want it. Make it your ball, flatten it out, make a little dent in the center, and then put your stuffing. You can put cheese in here. You can put, for those who wanna go vegan, you can put vegetables in here. You can put eggs and potatoes in here. You can put potatoes. In, I mean, you can put whatever you have. That's why it's a make-do meal, whatever you have on hand. Then I'm gonna take a little bit of this stuffing, add it in here, cover it up. I'm gonna seal it at the end. And I'm putting this in here, making another one. And I'm gonna cook it about on medium. And just keep doing that. If I hadn't made these so big, you could have made uh, four of these from this. Then you can add, if you have sour cream, you can add sour cream. If you wanna make them sweet with, um, you could add honey on top of them. If you're gonna fill them with fruit, whatever you want. I'm gonna put this down here. And this is just gonna be a little one because I made the other, it's a little too big. Okay, this will be a small one. I'm gonna fill this with a little bit of filling. Cover it up. And I'll cook them about maybe three minutes or so on either side and then turn them over. There we go. Well, this is done and we're gonna try this. You know what, I was gonna use a fork, forget the fork, I'm just gonna do this with my fingers. This is so simple. Again, it had cornmeal. I actually used these potatoes, but you can mash potatoes of your own and use them. Just don't make it real, real creamy. You want them a little bit stiff and then I used some leftover breakfast sausage and that was it. Now, what I have on top of here, I like my hot sauce. I have some sriracha hot sauce on here, but this would, you could do this with, you could do sour cream, you could do almost anything on here, but I'm gonna do the sriracha hot sauce. Hmm. This is a soul food knish. This is good. Mmm. So good. It's a taste of cornbread with potatoes, sausage, anything you want. Mmm. At these times, especially at this time, make do meals are what we need to be doing. So I thank you so much for watching. I hope everyone out there is safe, not only physically, but mentally and spiritually, and just not giving into the fear. We are going to be okay, especially if we hang in together. And you can always do make-do meals. Thank you until next week, and I'll be doing these videos as long as I can. And I just hope that your journey is filled with joy and blessings. Take care until next time. Thank you, my dear friends. See you later.